Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about another very useful index uh, called Commodity Channel Index, CCI. Uh, this video provided by Trade Pro Skills Analysis Department of Zero Spread and it's the way how you can contact us if you have any question. Uh, today we're going to learn the different categories of technical indicators, uh, general information about the CCI, how to use it and different settings and then we're going to try in live chart. Uh, as I told before, totally we have three different uh, categories of indicators, trend following indicators, momentum indicators and volatility indicators which CCI is part of momentum indicators and today we're going to talk about that. Uh, this indicator introduced by Donald Lambert in 1980s and uh, it identifies cyclical trends not only in commodities but also in stocks and currencies as well as for uh, indices and any other kind of the symbols that you want to use and it's very useful these days and one of the most uh, famous and uh, helpful indicators in the financial market. Uh, you can use this time frame in, uh, I mean, you can use this uh, index in different time frames. And uh, this, I mean, it's depend on the symbols and the time frame that you're trading. But this indicator is one of the um, indicators which uh, very uh, common indicator between the people who, traders who they do scalping. Uh, CCI most often uh, used to realize diversion from price trends and as on a version like to say that is it that's overbought or oversold so um and th this percentage of the i mean the lot mr lombard said that the um, setting is the 0 0.015 uh so it's approximately 70 to 80 percentage of uh, cci value can be read as minus and plus 100 and this is how it's calculation I mean the calculation of that today anyway we are not going to talk about uh, mathematics calculation and let's go and see how it works very often so uh, this is the setting uh, you can use it in I mean the CCI has four lines generally minus 100 plus 100 uh, plus 200 plus 200 and minus 200 and the zero line so I mean generally can say five lines uh, let's go to the live chart and see. Uh, try to use this uh, standard setting, uh, unless if you have special plan and idea how to use it. But uh, generally, I think that I I, I recommend you to use this uh, uh, setting, which is uh, standard on its is. So this is the live chart of Euro USD. Um, Fifteen minutes. So let's first add the indicator. However, uh, make sure that you're going to use this indicator with the other indicators as well. I mean, the, uh, before also I told you this, uh, none of these indicators alone can give you uh, exact, reason, I mean, exact reasons what you want. And you cannot make a decision based on just one of them. So, uh, let's to find it. This is the Community Channel Index or CCI. Let's to bring it in a page. Uh, I'm going to set the color as a white based on my background which is a black and 20 days period. The levels minus 100, plus 100, minus 200 and plus 200 as well as we have the zero line. Set make these settings. I mean at this here you can add this levels if you don't have it or if you have in other numbers. So let's go. Um, this is uh, how we can read it. So as I told, we have five lines here. I mean, four main lines and uh, zero line totally. Uh, what we can read from here, as long as the this in uh, CCI line is above zero, it means that it's generally it's in uptrend. So how uptrend this, I mean, is it the, how powerful this uptrend or downtrend, the total our trend is, is depend how is far than zero line. As long as, as much as the CCI line is far than zero line, it means that this 
trend has enough power to counter that and go into buy or sell position for example here you see that this uptrend powerful uptrend and the difference between the zero and um, zero line and CCI line is much more than other times or here like say that here you can see here is here and as well as here so uh, how we can use it so this indicator can tell us when the totally the market is overbought or oversold as uh, RSI okay let's bring the RSI here uh, and compare it with the RSI and say see what's what's going on generally here um, let's look at the RSI as well it's gonna be much more um, helpful if you use it some people they use it uh, relative string index some people they use it alone some people they use it uh, with the RSI and some of them uh, that are almost what the RSI does and what the CCI does uh, almost is the same however sometimes you cannot as I told you cannot trust just based on one indicator and you have to compare that indicator with the others and get the confirmation from different indicators in that case you can trust more so let's see what's uh, let's take this uh, 30 minutes chart right let's go to one hour chart we can see much more opportunities okay uh, let's make this setting right okay let's I'm going to take a screenshot from that and um, explain much more in the screenshot. So, uh, this above zero line, we are moving above zero line generally, which it means till here. From here, I mean up, up to here, we are moving above zero line, which it means generally we are in an uptrend, but as I told, the difference between the zero line and the CCI line is not that much. So uptrend is not that powerful and it's not good with trust and data and goals. So you can see here, for example here, if you trust just in RSI, RSI gives you a sell signal, right? This is the first time touched and the second time is the confirmation as I told before, never trust uh, in, a first, in a first sign wait for the second confirmation it gives here the second confirmation of the sell signal but you can see the sell signal is not that powerful i mean it was but it's not that much that you can get the profit of, out of that however if you want to do scalping it can be good enough signal so as you can see here we have a sell signal and here also we have a sell signal what's the sell signal um in a cci first of all it moves above zero so it's up in up okay uptrend but here the price is ch i mean the trend is changing then usually the cci lines is about uh, is above 100 it can give you the signal that it can give you the sign that the price may can change to the downside may can trend change to the downtrend so here uh we have i mean the first sign we had here and but it didn't come under the zero and went up again which is above 50 as well here and for a long time as you see in rsi we have the sign of the uh we have we are mo uh, moving above 50 in the rsi which it means that the soon we're gonna have the uh sell signal so RSI gives the second confirmation of sell signal here as well as the CCI so you can trust more right now so you, can, you could go for the sell it could which could be nice enough I mean if you do the scalping but if you are uh, trying to go for the long term it couldn't be useful for you that's why I'm telling that <coughs> CCI is much more uh, useful for the scalping and the scalpers they use it more than other traders so 
here again so if we moved under 0 and here we moved under 50 and we have here the, sig the first signal as buy as well as here the first signal of buy as I told before the, the most common problem and the mistakes between the traders that they trust in the first signal and I'm telling always do not trust in the first signal and wait for confirmation so if you would go for the buy here um, in generally in the long term it could be fine however if you want to just uh, you know if you would wait here you could get the second confirmation came down again almost to 30 and here now what we, what happened we crossed the 200 is the very powerful signal of buy we are we cross not just the minus 100 we cross the minus 200 as well and it can be the confirmation of the rsi it can be the second confirmation of cci second confirmation of rsi so now you could trust and entering the market as a buy and you could see you could gain amazing profit here right so here again what happened rsi uh, rsi and cci both of them they gave us the signal as sell signal right wait for the second confirmation right here it came down and the second confirmation in rsi and here also the cci can confirm it why because still it's above 100 it came down but still is above 100 and going down so now it can give you here if you see if you go this line up here the, the second signal of the cell if you do scalping amazing opportunity and still it's going down so this is how you can use um, RSI and CCI together so all that's why whenever I'm telling the uh, traders to use uh, whenever I'm, um, the traders asking me about the RSI or about the CCI I'm telling them it's better if you use them together I mean uh, in the same time if you use them and get the confirmation from uh, from them uh, let's try it in another uh we tried in a currency right so let's try it in a commodities um we have a gold here so let's do again do the same we can add the rsi and cci uh where is rsi oh, latest yeah that's our rsi same setting uh and commodity channel index oh here so again so now this is the cci right counter to channel index and we have rsi so let's go for example this time in 30 minutes chart in 30 minutes chart we can see here what's so let's start from here so as long as we are we are moving above zero it means that we are in an uptrend and we are in an uptrend you can see that's the uptrend that we are in once we cross the mark under uh, once we uh, here it gives us the first signal of um, when we are right now under the zero right here it here this is the second confirmation of sell let's take a screenshot so cci gives us the confirmation of the cell here which is here wait for the second confirmation is the second confirmation the second confirmation of cell so for the scalping it could be nice but here is the first confirmation of the spy as well as we can see here the first first uh, signal of the of buy and that's the confirmation the second signal which can use it as a buy signal so you could enter in the market and you are still moving above zero and still you are moving above 50 so you could hold your position 
for the longer time and exit the market from here which is gives you this first signal of going down and a second signal of going down first signal yeah here we cross the zero so when you cross the zero on down so try to close your buy position because there is a signal that may can uh, there is a sign that may price change trend change to downtrend so you have your uptrend and you got enough uh, profit here and now here uh, we're gonna go to see what's the the first signal of there is the first sign uh, of buy and there's a second confirmation let's just see what the RSI says RSI also shows here the first sign of a buy and here it's confirmed the second sign of a buy so the second time both the RSI and the CCI they confirmed it you could enter in the market here as a buy so it was the first sign and it was the second sign of a buy so enter to the market as a buy and still we are moving above zero right still we are, we are moving above 50 so you could hold your position and get your profit so uh, this is how it works uh, the CCI works and as I told before uh, try to use these indicators together um, I mean not just the CCI alone or uh, RSI alone all these indicators they can help each other to confirm the idea and wait for the second confirmation always to get less risk in the market thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question please try uh, to contact us with any of this way that which is fine for you make sure we're going to get back to you as soon as it's possible all the best